hiking seeker, hiking kit. I'm going to show you today, some of them very obvious and some not so obvious. Get yourself a decent whistle. Some packs have a whistle on the sternum strap, but you need to get yourself a decent whistle. And the story with the whistle is, not that I've ever needed to use it, when you do use it, put it in your mouth and put your fingers in your ears, like this. The reason for that being, it's only about six inches away from your ears, the whistle, and when you blow it hard and long from the bottom of your lungs and get a really shrill whistle, it affects your ears. And someone who's on the other side of the forest or wherever you're lost may hear that sound and they may not have a whistle themselves. They may shout to you and temporarily you're not going to hear them. So yeah, just be aware of that. I mean, you don't want to go to the extreme of having earplugs and taking them in and out. So just, as I say, put the whistle in your mouth three blasts with three seconds in between. In Europe, the UK and other countries, it's six blasts on the whistle. That's just something that you need to know, just in case you ever need it. And obviously we hope we never do have to use it. My head torch. I did have a thick rubber strap on it which quite a lot of them do but to save weight I've taken that strap off and put some shock cord on there which works out really well I don't sweat with it on there and I don't feel it as much as the heavy band it just sits there nice and light another area I've trying to save weight is with a towel I take with me. I've now got this Sea to Summit micro towel which is 600 by 300 and it only weighs 97 grams and it can fold up it's got this little pouch that it comes in and it's no drama to put it in there either it just folds in there got two little zips like that yeah and that fits nicely in my pack so yeah I've saved some weight on that as well because I had quite quite a, a substantial towel before and I've halved my weight at least with this micro towel a flint I always carry with me just in case the lighter fails or the matches are damp I have my flint that's it here And that's made by Light My Fire. That's a Swedish company. And that's good for about 12,000 strikes. Now you can imagine, you can work that one out. We're probably talking years there. This seems reasonably obvious now, but these two little hollow tubes came with my tent. And I wondered for a while what they were. Obviously, they're a splint in case your one of your tent poles breaks. But on that point, I'm assuming, not that this has ever happened to me. <laughs> I have them, but I've never needed to use them. I'm assuming that the tent pole will snap. So that means the internal shock cord that goes through it to hold the poles together has gone as well. So you're going to use that to hold it together. That's the only way I can see it working. Otherwise this, this would be in two parts and you'd have to clamp it around the pole. So yeah, obviously the cord has gone as well inside the pole so you can slide this on either end. As I say, 
Not that I've ever had to use it. And from what I've explained to you, it's not so obvious how you use it either. So yeah, if you see those in your kit, your tent kit, <laughs> you'll know what they are. <laughs> Two more items I've got for my kit. Hot lips for my cup. That fits on there like that. So when I, obviously I drink from it, that protects my lips getting burnt. Because this is a single wall snow peak cup, which it fits on. It'll also fit on my 750 Tom Shoe pot if I wanted to drink soup or anything out of that, just after it's been heated. Obviously, you don't have that on when you're heating the pot. But it's more designed for the snow peak cup. So I'm getting pretty sick and tired of burning my lips, so yeah. That's the snow peak hot lips. And the other thing I picked up at the same time was this little baby here, which is a pot grabber. So you don't, you put two fingers in it there, like that, and you've got that flap there. I can use that to grab hot pots like that. So yeah, that's another two pieces of equipment I've added to the kit. And they're both made out of uh, silicon. My clothesline. I've showed you this on another video which I'll leave a link to on the end screen. But it was a little bit bulky and heavy. Now I've more than halved the weight. I've got this Sea to Summit compact clothesline now. It goes out to exactly the same length. So it stays in, it's attached inside the pouch and it's got these little beads that you separate. You put your cloak, whatever you're going to put in there and then you close these beads together. And I'll just put it up in between a couple of trees and show you how it operates there as well. So yeah, there's the closed line between a couple of trees, one end up there and the other end down here and yeah that opens up to uh, 3.6 meters long so you can get a, quite a few items on it you can put it on the back of your pack but you can also you know when you're on the trail if, you, if your fly sheet's wet You can hang it on the line, you know, if you're going along and you find an appropriate tree on the trail, it's nice and breezy or the sun's out, you can hang that between the, the branches, have yourself a cup of coffee and let it dry out in the breeze or the sunshine. So it's, it's pretty adaptable. As I say, you can put it on the back of your pack as well. And of course, you can use it at camp. So yeah, that's just a lot lighter than my other one. And as I say, I've saved at least half the weight and also the bulkiness of it as well in my pack. Now I know some of the things I've spoken about may seem reasonably obvious, but they may not be so obvious to people who are just starting out. And they weren't so obvious to me in the beginning. Okay, I can Seeker signing out. Thanks for watching the video. And I hope to see you on another video soon. If you give the video a thumbs up, that'll be fantastic. And if you subscribe to the channel, that'll be even better. Okay, Hike and Seeker, signing out. Goodbye, and I hope to see you again soon.